If you are interested in learning more about Blender 3D, then check out our Masterclass Introductory course available over at our website, baileygraphics.com. This course is the perfect starting point for anyone beginning on their Blender journey with over eight hours of content, all for absolutely free. So if you're interested in starting your journey in learning how to use Blender, then check out the link in the video description. Sometimes you may want to create renders from an orthographic view. Now going into an orthographic view is very easy in the 3D viewport. You can either press the odd numbers on your number pad, one, three, seven, and nine to go into an orthographic view. You can also press number five on your number pad to go into an orthographic view from a perspective view. However, if we attempted to go into an orthographic view and then render our image, so go render and render image, the rendered image would still be from a perspective view, not an orthographic one. As a result, we can still see the depth between each of these objects. In order for us to be able to render an orthographic image, we need to come to the camera object and then come to the object data properties. The very first option we have under lens is the type of lens. Now it's always normally set to perspective. We have two other options though, orthographic and panoramic. The one we want here is orthographic. So left click and then hit zero on our number pad. You can now see that the plane that these three objects are sitting on has disappeared because we're now looking in an orthographic view. If we orbit the view, we can still see our plane. But you will notice that while I am orbiting in the 3D viewport, we are still set to our user orthographic view. This allows us to go to render and render our image. You can now see with our objects that it's very difficult to recognize the fact that the blue Suzanne is actually a lot closer to the camera than our green Suzanne. We do have a minor issue with this image with the red Suzanne clipping out. So whenever you are using the orthographic type of lens, you will see that instead of a focal length value, you have an orthographic scale. So we adjust the orthographic scale to bring other objects in to our camera's view. So increasing is similar to the camera zooming out of our objects and decreasing the orthographic scale is similar to zooming in. So bring it to a high enough value so that you can view any or all of your objects, then go render and render image. And now you should see all of your objects in view. Now, the one thing that I will say about using the orthographic type of lens in Blender is that it's most commonly used for when you are looking to create reference images using your 3D objects in Blender. And because of that, you will probably not be using this type of lens to render a scene of multiple objects, but rather of singular objects instead.